Hey everyone, it's BrickLink Day, hooray! I had a couple of BrickLink orders come through. Now I'm gonna start this by saying, I know I've been doing a lot of BrickLink orders lately. I have so many ideas and projects in my head and I am building some of them through at the moment. So these are not just going into the parts bin, these are actually going into things I am building. And I'll tell you more about that one in a second. I have mentioned a couple of my ideas in um, videos as I've done them recently. I've also got a pick a brick cup here. I just was going to show you that one because I'm really proud of how I packed it. <laughs> so let's open this first one up. This one comes from a store in the US called, cunningly, US Bricks. Um, now the reason I got it from the States was because I couldn't buy one part I really, really needed so some of this I had to buy from there because I couldn't buy it in a big enough quantity here in Australia. I could buy it from stores in sort of 20, 30 pieces at a time, but I wanted 200 of them. And I'll get straight into it and show you which piece that was. Look at how neatly that is packed. Paper on there. That is awesome. I love that. Now you'll see instantly that there is a lot of Technic here. This is basically a Technic order. And the reason for that is, look at that, it's actually, I'm impressed. I don't know if you can see that, but that is actually all sealed into individual bags. This is seriously professional ordering. I need my knife again to get into it. I've never seen it done like that. Most people recycle their, um, their parts bags. That's awesome. So the main reason I went with this one, as I said, was actually because of these little guys here. Now, how's my lighting there? Technic, there we go, Technic Links. So, can you guess what that's for? There should be 170 Technic Links in there. Now, that is actually for roller coasters because I have the Pirate Roller Coaster and I also have two of the Unikitty Fairground sets and I'm going to motorize both of them. One is for me, one is for my kids because they are massive Unikitty fans and the rest is just axles and other Technic pieces so eight long, four long, these are always useful when you're trying to build out Technic and then three bars as well. In this one, universal joints, some screws because these are very useful pieces I've got some cogs here for um, doing stuff on angles, obviously, so changing direction, 90 degrees. Um, and then just various sizes of cogs, so some of these are for guiding those chains, some of these are for connecting up. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be connecting up multiple um, carousel uh, fairground rides to one gearbox, which is why I want all of these pieces, so I can actually connect everything up and build it in one way, so hence the links, the axles, everything. So I've got one big motor to use for this, and then I've got some ideas to do some different things. To give it a bit of background as well, I loved Technic growing up. I was a real Technic kid, so I'm getting sort of back to my roots in that respect as well. Technic and trains and city were my thing growing up, and space, sorry. So yeah, going back to my roots. So yeah, awesome. I'm really excited about it. Look at that, it's a great, what a fantastic bit of packing. Oh, he's getting a good recommendation for that. Now this one is maybe the most boring order I've ever done. <laughs> and the reason is because I was building a mock the other day and I was talking to JC and I was going through it and I, I, I said, mate, I've just hit a problem. I've like started my mock, I've got to this point with it, and I can't actually go any further because I do not have any windows or doors to use. <laughs> I was like, I couldn't believe it. I had no windows or doors in my, I did have a few, but not really many that I could use. So this is an order which is predominantly windows and doors of all sizes, shapes, and colors. <laughs> ah, let's get in there. Look at that. It's literally <laughs> doors, 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 <laughs> window frames, <laughs> more doors, more door, uh, no, more doors, more frames, <laughs> more frame. I love how he's packed. This is good. I've done well on my. Uh, on how my orders are packed here. So yeah, I've got a good array of colors here. So I've got no excuse for not getting my mocks any progress now. 
Yep, angled ones, red doors, black doors, some filler pieces as well, so for the smaller windows. Got some doors, I actually wanted um, these gate ones as well for a couple of things I'm doing. I'm building a security office at the moment with a, uh, a, a, a an unprotected uh, back back alleyway, shall we say. Oh, and then I got these as well, because I love these pieces, they're very useful. And this one was the fun part of this one, because I've I got some different colours here. I love this orange piece, you probably recognise that one from the uh, Ninjago City set. I just think that's a great colour, he had one of those, otherwise I'd have bought more of them. But yeah, awesome, doors and windows and stuff. Now the only thing that was missing from his store, which I do need to actually order from somewhere else, is the bigger glass panes, because he didn't have many of those. So I will be ordering some of those in a future Bricklink order, but there is no hurry, because now I have door frames and things, and I can do some of my marks, yay! So last, and by no means least, but you know, again, it's not, not the, the most exciting thing, but I did a brick link, a, 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 a pick a brick wall the other day, and I was really happy with how I put this in. Look at it. Look at that. Look at how it's done. I think I got a good bang for my buck here. This was uh, $15 here in Australia, which I'm, I'm not going to do any on, on the fly currency conversion because I don't want to upset anyone, but. Yeah, loads of these 1x4 pieces, I've um, got tons of those, they made really good fillers. Now, one of the main reasons I went was actually because of the greys in particular. So this, if you look, is actually made up of 2x2 two two bricks, which I really, um, I needed a lot of for various pieces, for some structural stuff I've got. Um, these 1x2s in that sort of sand colour, and these yellow 1x6s, I don't know why it is, I just love yellow and orange colour, so that's why those are in there, and then building out some sandy colour in the 2x2 two two as well. <coughs> More 1x3 in this white, don't you love how I put this all in? It's quite well packed, I'm quite pleased with this, given I did it in like 10 minutes in my lunch hour. These uh, brackets are always useful. I've got a few of those in other colours, but not white. And uh, I've got some a, a little series of mocks coming up I've got planned, which I think you'll enjoy, and uh, those will be very useful for. So yeah, one by threes. I'm, I must have about probably 80 to 100 of these one by threes <laughs> around this box. Let's get them all out. Let's use this box. Actually, we won't do that. Um, what else? What else? What else is in there? Then there's all the filler stuff going in. Oh, yeah, they still had some of this awesome sort of um, turquoise blue. Love it. More of those 1x4s. These. I never seem to have enough of this piece. This, the, the sort of, um, the clicky. Oh, I don't know the exact name of the piece. The sort of 1x2 one, one modified clicky piece. That one. I never seem to have enough of those, so that's why I've got that one. What else? Ah, oh, just some cheese cheese pieces, because they're useful. Ah, oh, these ones, these are nice, I like this piece. The uh, the one by two with the sort of groove along the edge. And then some more of these, because I never seem to have enough of these. And, yep, yeah, those are useful as well. I think that's it. Oh, and I threw a couple of more of these clear ones, and I actually have a whole jar of clear pieces now, which is good. Been needing that. I think that was everything I got in there. I'm pretty happy with that. I was just really happy with how I packed it. I just wanted to show you. <laughs> I was so proud of it. Oh, and, oh, and my favourite sand green as well. One by twos there. So yeah, that was it. That was my haul. Uh, so you can see I covered a few bases there with that. Oh look, I even got a free sweep with that one. Yay! Um, I'm happy with that. I'm <laughs> I actually hadn't realised it ordered that many window and door frames. So that's good. That will solve a big problem I had. <laughs> now I've just got to build more, enough stuff to actually use all of that, which is a good problem to have. So anyway, let me know in the comments what you think of this. Uh, there's some cool parts there. You can see me getting back to my Technic roots there in particular. The last couple of hauls I've done have, uh, Bricklink orders I've done have had Technic pieces in, and I'm looking forward to, to getting some things moving again. I'm really excited about that one. I think I was inspired by the Lego Masters show here in Australia. There was uh, one of the teams on there was really good at doing stuff in 
technique and really bringing stuff to life and actually making things poseable as well. So that's going to be exciting for me to get back into. Uh, as I say, if you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe. I post regularly. I build mocks. I build all kinds of stuff. I'm big on city, city, technic. I've even got spaceships now. <laughs> anyway, here's a couple more videos for you to watch. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you again very, very soon.